Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about side angle side congruence postulate o yung mas kilala bilang SAS congruence postulate. Last time, nag-upload tayo ng video about triangle congruence postulate. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So what is meant by side angle side postulate or SAS congruence postulate? It says here, if two sides and the included angle in one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle in another, another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So before we start diving into the main topic, before we start there, we need to elaborate more about included angle. So imagine that you have this kind of triangle and mag-focus ka on this side and on this side. As you can see, by joining these two sides, they are forming an angle. This angle is their included angle. An angle between two given sides. So let's move on with SAS congruence postulate. Again, S a S postulate. So, by S A S, as you can see, this one is side, angle, side. Compared to the other video that we have, we need to prove that the three corresponding parts are congruent, the three corresponding angles are congruent, as well as the three corresponding sides are also congruent for us to prove that the two triangles are congruent. In all in all, we need six pairs of congruent, si congruent parts. But here, using side angle side postulate and the other postulates that we will do in the next video, we only need three pairs of congruent sides. And in this theorem or postulate, we need to use SAS. We need one pair of Ah, sorry, two pairs of congruent sides and one pair of congruent included angles. So for this side, you have side AC. As you can see, side AC is congruent to side PQ. Sir, why are they congruent? As you can see, this side AC and side PQ, they have the same marking. So we can say that the measurement of those sides are congruent. So this is your first letter S. Next, the next letter is A, meaning we need to find a pair of congruent included angle. So we have here angle C is congruent to angle P because they have the same number of arcs. Here, they have the same number of arcs. And that is your letter A. So, next letter natin dito is that we have S. S, A, S. This is your last letter S. Okay, as you can see, side CB is congruent to side PR because they have the same marking, meaning they are incongruent in terms of measurement. So we can write here, side BC is congruent to side PR. So having this, so you can see this is your SAS. If you have two pairs of congruent sides and one pair of congruent included angles, therefore, these two triangles are congruent by S. A, S. So, paano tayo ngayon mag-perform or gagawa ng isang congruency statement between these two triangles? So, we can have this kind of statement that triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle, let's see, kasi kailangan ano eh, maayos yung arrangement ng bawat letters. Okay, 
we have here Q triangle Q R B triangle ABC is congruent to triangle Q R B now we have here this problem set determine whether the following triangles are congruent by SAS or SAS congruence postulate and write all the congruent parts. So as you can see, we have your item number one, wherein the two triangles are joint or joint, joint together. You have here focus on triangle, on this triangle, and on this triangle. So how can we prove na silang dalawa congruent? So for this part, as you can see, this side from A to O, it has the same markings compared to OC. So we can say that side AO is congruent to side OC. Okay, that is the first pair. Meron tayo. Next, since Sasyon, so you have S, A naman tayo, you, you need to find one pair of congruent included angles. So this one, these two angles, is your included angle. Kasi it is between two given sides. So you can say that AO is congruent by, sorry, angle O is congruent by angle O by reflexive property or in other words as you can see they are vertical angles and lastly for s you can say another part this one bo your side bo is congruent with side sorry side od because they have the same marking since meron ka ng s a s meaning the two triangles are congruent by SAS congruence postulate. So, paano ngayon yung ating congruency statement? We can say that triangle A, O, B is congruent by is congruent to triangle C, O, B by Side angle side congruence postulate. Okay, let's move on with item number two. For item number two, we have here S, A, S. Let's try kung congruence sila. The first pair is ito. Yung side O, N. Side O, N is congruent to side Q, N. And as you can see, Meron tayo itong side. And meron kaya itong included angle between them. So you can say that angle, we will be using ano, three letters. Angle O and P is congruent to angle Q and P. That is for the pair of congruent included angles. And lastly, this one, pareha sila, when you extract these triangles, pag extract ni triangles na yan, they are sharing with one side. So we can say na side NP is congruent to side NP. And by that, that those triangles are congruent by SAS congruence postulate. So paano ngayon yung ating congruency statement? So we will, let's, we will start with letter O, triangle O and P is congruent to triangle Q and P by SAS congruence postulate. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.